Apple dumplings are a wonderful dessert to serve when company comes over or if you like them yourself. I don't suggest making this um, if you're trying to impress somebody for your first time trying it because it is a more advanced recipe. But it doesn't have to be and I'm going to try to simplify it as much as possible. I've rolled my pastry out as you can see. Now how I make my pastry for my apple dumplings is different than the way I do for pies. So, prior to this, I took two and a half cups flour and mooshed in one half cup um, shortening, which is like Crisco, your white vegetable shortening, or you can use lard, one half cup cold butter, and as you mash it in, it becomes crumbly. Once that's well mixed, I use a tablespoon brandy and about three tablespoons cold water. You may have to add more water as you go, but you want to start mixing it until it holds together, like this dough, and then roll it out. You will also need about six medium apples. If your apples are large, you may only get four in the recipe, or you may get a different number altogether. The idea is to fill your pan so they don't fall over during baking. Now for the syrup. I've preheated this and it's starting to cool. That's why the butter is rising to the top. However, I wanted to prepare it ahead to show you before I put it on the apples. And this is one half cup brown sugar, or I mean one and a half cups brown sugar, sorry. And you pack the brown sugar when you measure it. It's one and a half cups water, two tablespoons butter, one teaspoon vanilla, and one half to one teaspoon cinnamon. You heat that in a pan until it's well um, melted, the butter, and the sugar is dissolved. As you can see, it's starting to cool. I will need to probably heat it again if it gets too cold while I'm cutting out my pastry. And what I'm gonna do is cut out enough pastry to cover each apple. Now, as you can see, I don't roll the pastry perfect. If you can, that's wonderful. I have never achieved that. And when I cored the apple, I use this tool here. Although you can just cut it in half and take the core out. This just is kind of nice if you want to fill it with something before it bakes. So let me cover my apples and I'll be back with you to show you the rest of the, the uh, recipe. Okay, I rolled the dough and cut the dough and shaped it around each apple. The dough made a thickness such that one apple is going to have to sit this one out. So we're going to have five this time. Now you can do creative little things with the dough because where you seam the dough it might not be as pretty. I like to make little leaves and little stems on top. So when they bake they look a little more creative. Um, although the taste is the same, if you want to leave the little seams in, give it a more country look, you can. And like I said, my oven is 375 degrees and I'm going to bake these roughly 20 minutes. I want the pastry to start looking dry, although not very brown, mostly dry. And then we're going to put the syrup on and bake it the rest of the way. I started doing it this way because if you put the syrup on too soon, sometimes the pastry just falls to mush. And I don't really want that to happen. So I'm going to bake these for 20 minutes and add the syrup so you can see what happens. Okay, our apple dumplings have baked for 20 minutes. You can see the pastry is starting to look dry. It is not browning yet, although it's getting close. I reheated the syrup because normally I make the syrup while it's baking this little bit, but I wanted to shorten the film. So we're going to pour the syrup on carefully. You don't want it to go above the halfway mark. In fact, I think I'm going to leave it about there. The leftover syrup is great on pancakes or if you make more apples. Okay, this will go back in the oven for roughly 20 minutes. It could be longer. What you're looking for is for these edges to be browning and it to be dry. And you might want to stick a toothpick in there to make sure the apple feels like it's done and it should work just fine. If not, you may have to try this recipe a couple times until you find that perfect spot for your, your own taste. However, let me quit yakking and let me get baking. My apple dumplings um, took a little bit longer. They actually took about 30 minutes in addition to the original 20 minutes. Um, 
but as you can see, they're lightly browned and dry. The one lost its stem, however, the kind of stuff happens when you bake homemade goods. A lot of it got up on the edges, kind of made it look awful. So when you're done with your pan, you'll want to work on that or that'll bake in for your future bakings. Not be as attractive. Anyway, these, since they're fresh out of the oven, they need to cool a little bit, but you want to serve them while they are still warm. And you can use whipped cream or ice cream. Anyway, after I plate one up, I'll show you what that looks like. Our dumplings have cooled a bit. They are still very warm. Let's see if I can do this without embarrassing myself. The first one's the hardest one to pull out completely. So far, <laughs> not too bad. They are fragile, so sometimes this happens, but I'd rather show you the real thing than to fake it. So, let's move this aside. Oh, for cleanup, after you clean the worst of the syrup out, a little baking soda and water will help scrub these syrup patches off so that you don't have to live with a stained bowl. And I got the good ice cream for the video. Ask and Robin.